Okay, this is Jacob Schmidt with DeerHuntingSchool.com. I'm sitting here looking at a, a property for uh, someone who had emailed me, asked me about it. And I actually have uh, talked back and forth with this person quite a bit, not about the property, but uh, about just deer hunting generally and just what whatnot um, through email. Um, so this here is the property. You see my cursor here. It runs, you know, like this, and then up, and then across, something like that, and then, and then down here. Um, across and it kind of comes down here like that and then back up and, and it goes out here a ways um, something like something in that area I, I believe when I measured it out I actually measured it yesterday um, and figured it up but I think it was around a hundred acres um, give or take I think so it, you know it could be off um, but it's it's not too far off from a hundred acres so, anyways, uh, let's go ahead and take a look at it. Now, yes, he did when he sent me the, the uh, border of it. Um, sent me the, uh, you know, put a, did, marked this area here as a, a bedding area. Um, and he also marked this as, as standing corn. Okay, so first thing we're going to talk about is this, is this area here um, as being bedding area. If this is bedding area and there's deer bedding in there, um, and you may already be using these, but this here looks like, you know, you could really see a long ways. And, I th and, and if you're a rifle hunter, um, I would be using these for shooting lanes because if they're bedding areas, you'll, you know, very likely to catch deer crossing this, um, especially during the middle of the day. Um, as they're bedding, they get up, do a little feeding, whatever. Um, and then in a the rut, certain times, timing of the rut um, it can be prime, um, things like that. Um, and then this area here, I also want to look at this. I know this may be off the property, um, but there's not a whole lot of difference between this area and it runs plumb up into here. Um, it's not a whole lot of difference in between this area here and this area. Um, and it actually runs plumb down into here. Okay. Um, I don't know exactly where the property line is. But, you know, it's somewhere right in here. But if deer are bedding in there, I mean, I'm, if this is a bedding area, this is probably going to be a bedding area just as well. Um, I'm almost certain of that. And, I mean, this looks like a prime. And I know there's some, I don't know if these are roads or whatever. Um, but this looks like a prime area. Now, you may not be able to hunt it. Um, but knowing that, hey, the deer are bedding in there and, and, and knowing that information um, can help you, you know, to hunt this property correctly I don't know where the line is on it um, but you know and I'm sure they're utilizing this as a food source that was the other thing um, about this property there is a lot of agricultural going on around it um, around this so there's plenty of food for the deer um, and I'm sure the deer you know like I was just saying the deer are using this as a food source there's a lot of uh, hardwoods in this area um, as well and I'm sure that's a, a, a really good food source and these areas here that are grown up um, you know there should be quite a bit of browse in these areas and, and you have areas like this as well um, other things I noticed about the property um, here is you got a funnel um, coming from this area to your property um, there's a funnel here that the deer can cross, you know, without walking across this wide open fields, okay? Um, you know, they will walk across open fields sometime, but really your ma more mature deer, um, especially your mature mature bucks, is they're, if they're, you know, in, in certain times, funnels are hot, okay? And then you've got a funnel here. Uh, don't know if it's cut off by this, this house and this house and what this here is. You know, if the deer are using it, um, that's just something you have to just... You know, if you can't access this point over here, you can always use trail cameras um, to find out if, you know, their deer and not put them over here. You can put the trail cameras in here somewhere to see if the deer are actually using that as a funnel in the daytime. Okay, and there's another funnel uh, here in this area right here, and that's that's bringing these deer from this, this property um, onto yours as they come across they're going to feel much safer crossing here than they are walking out through these open fields and things um you know during the daytime and funnels are very hot spots 
at the right timing. And, you know, for anybody watching this video, guys, I have a course on timing and hunting pressure bucks. Um, mature pressure bucks or something like that. I don't know the name of it, but you can just see it on deerhuntingschool.com on the left-hand side under my wife's pictures, all the online courses I have. Um, that's a, you know, I think that course is a must to understand um, that there because understanding the timing of different things in different areas is, is a huge. Um, this standing corn here, that should be a bedding area. Um, you should have deer bedding in that very quite often if it's if it's tall you know standing corn um, you should have deer bedding in that area and you know right at the certain times of years and things you know these areas are going to be hot at different times especially when it comes to uh, you know hunting bucks um, you're really going to have to uh, you know understand you know the rut and how the rut you know plays out and you know I can't go into that in, you know, just a, a video here. That'd be a long, awful long video. But understanding the different phases of the ruts and how the, you know, but you know, from when bucks are are seeking and they go to the chasing phase and then they go to the actual where the does are receptive and they they're actually breeding and then you come out of that area out of that phase as you come into you know where there's towards the, you know what's called the post rut and then you come into a second rut. And, you know, depending on where you're at, too, as well in the you know, United States, depending on how the rut is. Um, up north, in the northern United States, you'll have a, a well-defined rut um, where generally all, all, most of the deer will come in estrus within a, you know, a, a, narrow, a fairly narrow window. And then some of the deer are not going to be bred. And the younger, um, you know, the yearling does, they'll come into uh, heat um, later in the year, um, but most of the does is going to be bred in a fairly narrow window. And understanding how the rut is is going to, you know, have a huge effect on how you need to hunt. And understanding food sources and things like that is going to have a, a huge uh, effect on on that. You know, guys, I have online courses on this stuff. Just check it out at DeerHuntingSchool.com. Um, but on the, you know, and if you're in the South, which is I am, guys, we have a a, a, a prolonged rut. Um, because of the way the weather is, and it's, uh, it's a lot, um, you know, the, uh, rut is, is, can be extended, um, very long time. Um, so knowing that, you know, you, you really need to understand how the, how the rut plays out and things like that, um, and how these deer are going to utilize these properties. Because, guys, bucks are going to utilize funnels, um, you know, when they're at, at different times, you know, and funnels are always good good areas to hunt, um, but there's some area times when they're really hot, and understanding the right time to hunt them funnels um, is huge, okay? Now, your food sources, um, you know, are going to change throughout the year, um, and that's obvious, and understanding the timing on them, that's, that's a lot, you know, fairly simple. You know, you got to understand when the food's available. Um, but, Jesse, um, you look like you've got quite a bit of acorns, um, so, you know, deer is going to use them as food source. You've got fields. You've got the corn that you plant. Looks probably every year. I don't know. Um, you've got these agricultural fields. Deer are going to use them. Um, you're going to have your winter um, browse and stuff. And and, and as the and that's um, as the towards the end of the year, you know, you're going into uh, you know food different food sources and stuff like that. Um, but, you know, if I was just walking in on, if I was just, say, I, you know, going to come hunt this property, I had permission to hunt it or whatever, and, you know, let's say I was going to hunt for a week. Um, first, you know, the first day, of course, I'm going to go and do some serious scouting. Um, I'm going to check out these funnels. Um, this, you know, here's a funnel. And then we've already pointed them. Here's a funnel. I'm going to check that out. Um, you know, here's one. I'm going to look at them, see how they look. Um, I'm going to check out this cornfield. I'm taking a look at it. And I know this is probably, you know, you've probably, you know, done a lot of this. Um, but I'm going to, you know, I'm just telling you what I would do, you know, if I'm first hunting it. Um, I'm going to look around this cornfield, seeing some trails coming in and out as to your, you know, the trails they're using. Looking for rub line scrapes, uh, different types of things like that. And I'm going to start putting it together and making sense of it. I'm going to look at this bedding area here um, because it even looks like a bedding area from aerial photo. It looks like some really thick undergrowth row some crp something in them ranges um same with this area here even though this may be off of the property 
um, you've, I'm pretty sure there's deer. This is a bedding area um, here, just like with the cornfield. Um, this area here is is not much different than this. So, um, you know, I think that's better. I'm going to look for that. I'm going to find deer trails, rub lines, things like that, and how they're coming in and out. And I'm going to start making sense of them. I'm going to, you know, look into, you know, how the timing, why these rub lines are there. When is the timing of the rub lines? Because seeing where the rub lines are going, where they're coming from, why are they going there, why they're coming from, different things like that. And it all comes back to, you know, a lot of the stuff that's in my online courses. I'm not going to give away the information out here I'm on videos like this um, because you know you know I have the courses um, but I'm gonna you know that's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna set as I see the rub lines and things because I'm you know there's gonna be rub lines there's gonna be scrapes and things all around um, this property and at certain times is when them scrapes and rub lines are gonna be hot um, and then your bedding areas of course um, are gonna be you know hot I mean there's deer bedding there and hunting them and things um, different times guys you know it depends on a lot of things going on but um, that's what I'm going to look at I'm actually you know when I walk in I'm going to scout I'm going to look them areas over you know like I said the you know the funnels I'm going to look over the, the 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 bedding areas that I believe are bedding areas make sure they're bedding areas I'm going to look for travel routes travel corridors things like that and why the deer are using them and what time of the year they're using them and when I see buck signs I'm going to try to make sense of it by understanding how the rut plays out, how the timing of what the deer are actually doing is going to be playing out, um, different things like that. I'm going to be looking for how to hunt the wind, um, you know, stand placement and understanding the wind and how, what right areas it is for the, which wind. Guys, one more thing, um, and, and, and if you're hunting, a, if you have a smaller property like this, um, and I say smaller, some of you, you know, maybe like, well, that's not small. It's, it is small. Um, 100 acres is, 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 is small. Um, if you have a smaller property like this, be aware of the hunting pressure that you're putting on it and the hunting pressure that is on it. If you have it to yourself, that is awesome because you can control all of the hunting pressure because you're the only one putting pressure on it. Um, and by doing that, even if you have to go out and hunt some other places, even if you have to go hunt some public land, um, you know, things like that to control that hunting pressure, only hunt it if you're, if you're hunting for big bucks, make darn sure that you've got, that you're hunting the wind right. Make for really, you know, sure that you're hunting the spots at the right time, that you've got the timing right, that you're not in there just hunting um, and, and, and putting sin in when it's, you know, when it's not the right time because by doing that by making mistakes hunting the wind and hunting at the wrong time you're educating the deer um, and then because if you do them if you make them two mistakes then you are hunting you're pressuring the deer you know like the what I talk about in how to fi are finding and hunting pressure not turn on mature rutting bucks on public land you're actually doing that to your deer to your property you're turning into very pressured property and you're turning your deer nocturnal um, by doing that so get make sure that you're hunting the wind correctly and, and you know I, I know I said it a while ago but I'm gonna say it again okay make sure you're hunting the wind correctly make sure that you got the timing right um, because that is key um, on not letting the deer feel safe and letting them not feel the pressure the hunting pressure and let let everybody else make all the mistakes and it, even if you have to go and hunt some public land and things like that hunt the property just make sure you hunt it right um, Jesse I hope you enjoyed this video for everyone else hope you enjoyed the video I hope it made a lot of sense hope it helps you out um, I know Jesse, you said you had you pretty well had the property figured out, but you just kind of wanted to see what I had to say um, about it. Um, that's what I got to say, you know. Looking at it from aerial photo, that's really all I can say. You know, I can't say well, put you know, I can you know say put a stand here and there in some places, um, but you know, the, at that there's a lot to deer hunting. It's it's very deep. Um, I could pinpoint some areas on here that I would. You know, recommend some stand locations. And that's going to be in the funnels. One is, is is in this bedding area. If these are shooting lanes, if I'm rifle hunting down in there, um, things like that. I can guarantee you that most likely I'm going to have a 
uh, you know, stands around this cornfield, different things like that. But, um, you know, getting in and scouting and understanding and putting it all together is what I'm going to do the first day. You know, I would come in, scout the area, go back um, that evening and, and brainstorm it. And, you know, I have some stand locations set up and understand how I would hunt it. Um, and that's how I would go about hunting this if I was going to just say I, just say I was going to hunt it a seven-day um you know, for seven days or whatever. But anyways, hope everybody enjoyed the video. This is Jacob Schmidt with DeerHuntingSchool.com. Check out DeerHuntingSchool.com for more tips, information, things like that on deer hunting. I hope this video helped you guys out. Um, I hope you can get some, some value out of it. Jesse, I hope you get some value out of it. Um, it's been, you know, I've really enjoyed uh, listening, you know, you telling me about emailing me and stuff like that. So I really hope it can help you out. Um, and get out there and get that big buck, buddy. It's out there. Um, I guarantee you, there's there's some big, uh, you know, some big deer around this area, you know, and uh, you're gonna get him. Just just be patient and hunt him, and be smart about it and keep learning, Bubba. Um, you'll get there. Have a good day, everybody. Have a good day, and uh, you know, check out DeerHuntingSchool.com for more tips and information on deer hunting. Bye bye.